welcome to another video. So today I'm going to do something different. Um, I'm going to do my R Fantasy Bingo Board TBR. So this is a Reddit thread and I'll be totally honest, I don't use Reddit, I know nothing about Reddit. Um, but I've seen a few people do this. This is a thread where it's like a year long challenge running from 1st of April to 31st of March next year. Um, and there's, I believe, 25 squares and you read fantasy books. You can use kind of other speculative. So I think sci-fi and horror also fit. I'm mainly trying to do sci trying to do fantasy on this one, though. Um, now, I'll be totally honest, this could be one of those TBRs that I make and then never refer back to and it just gets lost somewhere in the ether. I'm going to see if I can complete any of it, but who knows? Who knows? I've never done this before. Um, I've got this idea mainly from Cass at Covers for Cassidy and Mel at Melanor Reads, and I'll link them both down below. Um, and let's go through the board and what I think I'm going to be reading. So I will just explain first of all, there are like two, I guess, modes to this. So you've got your board full of challenges. Um, there is something called hero mode where you review each book, but I kind of do that anyway, so I'm kind of ignoring that. But you've got your board full of challenges and each challenge has then got a hard mode challenge on top of that. Um, so for example, the first one, which is your standard challenge is the first book in the series. Your hard mode is that series has to be over four books. So I'm going to try and do hard mode on them all just because, you know, if you're going to give yourself a challenge, give yourself a challenge, right? Um, but let's just see how I get on. I will say now, please do leave any recommendations for any squares down below. Um, there are very, very few books on this list that I... I'm precious that I think I like definitely have to be in there. Um, so any ideas that you have got, any books that you think would fill this the prompts better, please do let me know. I am open for recommendations on absolutely everything. There are a certain number of these prompts where I haven't got a book in place yet. That might be because it's one that I'm going to just like fit in as and when I get to one. Or it might be one where I have no idea and I need help. So I have sorted out the books that I want to go through and I'm going to start off with the first. So our first row, I put the board up here. The first square in the first row is, like I said just now, the first book in a series and the hard mode is the series has to be over four books. This is really difficult. So one of the like rules on this is you can only reread one book on the whole board. Um, and you can't use the same author for more than one square. So I'm trying to use, like, I don't think I've got any rereads on here at all. So for first in series, I've decided to go for Temeraire by, I'm going to have to put this one somewhere else, Temeraire by Naomi Novik. Um, honestly, I don't know very much about this book other than it is a war... French Revolution? Some real war, but there's dragons there. Um, my friend Susanna is obsessed with this book and is always telling everybody to read it, so I figured I should probably read it. Um, I don't own it, <laughs> but I believe my sister does, so I might steal it off her. But yeah, the first one for, first in the series of the series over four books, I'm going with the Temeran. Prompt number two. The prompt is alliterative title, so a title with two or more words with the same letters. And the hard mode is three plus words with the same letters. This was really, really difficult. Um, I have only found one book on my shelves that fits this prompt. So again, if you have any ideas of books with three or more words that have that start with the same letter, let me know. I'm going with The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. Um, I, I don't know anything about this book. That pretty much is going to be a recurring theme. Um, but yeah, I don't really know anything about it. Um, I know lots of people have enjoyed this book. I believe this is yet another unfinished series. I believe Scott Lynch is joining the ranks of George R.R. R. Martin and Patrick Rothfuss in just not finishing. When was this one published? 
2006. Hmm. Um, but yeah, Lies of Loch Lamora, it's got three L's in it. Um, so I'm going to put that one in for this square. But like I said, if you have got any other ideas, please do let me know. Square number three is takes place underground. So that could be basically under the surface of the earth. So that could be underwater, it could be underground, it could be in caves. And the hard mode is at least 50% takes place underground. I don't know if at least 50% of this book takes place underground because I haven't read it, but I'm gonna put on The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. My assumption is she's fallen beneath the sea, so therefore there must be a certain amount that takes place underwater. Again, I don't know. If this one doesn't reach the hard mode and it's not 50% underwater, I'm, I'm, I don't really care. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but this is gonna be my one for takes place under the earth. Um, I don't know much about this one. I believe this one follows um, people throw someone in the water to appease a god and this girl jumps in after her friend or something. I'm not really sure. Um, it is a YA fantasy. So yeah, I, I, again, don't know much about it. Book prompt number four, the prompt is the main character is a criminal and the hard mode is it features a heist. So I had got a few options on this one. I can't remember what I had put down before. I think I had put down um, Voyage of the Damned by Francis White, but I changed my mind and instead I'm putting down Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. I'll be totally honest, this to me looks like it is a kind of th more in the lines of a thriller than a fantasy, but it came in an Illumicrate box, which makes me assume that there must be a fantasy element to it. Um, I believe this follows, this is an art heist. I think it follows um, a group of students who are stealing art back from museums. I don't really know. I don't know if they would be classed as criminals other than I suppose once they start their heists then they're criminals so this might be a little bit tentative again if you have anything better please do let me know but this is what's on there for now and then the fifth prompt the last one in row one is quite a difficult one the prompt is features dreams and the hard mode is non-magical dreams. So I was totally stuck on this one and I was considering, do I put this one in as a reread and just do the easy mode and have, um, oh, I can't remember what the book called, the Laney Taylor book. I can see the cover, Strange the Dreamer. Wow, that took a while, I love that book. Um, but I don't think I will. Instead, I was looking through the thread where there were people's recommendations and somebody said in Red Rising, um, the main character dreams. So I am tentatively pushing on Golden Sun because I've read Red Rising and I'm up to Golden Sun. Um, and under the assumption that maybe he dreams in this one too. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea. I feel like it's one of those prompts where I'm not going to know if there are dreams in the book until I've read the book because especially if they're like looking for non-magical, just mundane dreams, they're not going to be mentioned anywhere until you read the book. Um, so again, if anybody does know any fantasy that includes dreams that are not magical dreams, so like, I guess that means they're not, like Strange the Dreamer wouldn't work for that because the dreams are magical in that you can kind of control things through your dreams. Um, but yeah, if anyone knows anything that just features normal dreams, let me know. But for now, Golden Sun is going to tentatively go in there and who knows, maybe it fits, maybe it doesn't. Okay, for row two, square number one, I'm going, the uh, prompt is animal in the title and the hard mode is a mystical animal. So for this one, I'm going for to shape a dragon's breath. Um, I don't know who it's by. But it's on screen somewhere. Um, this one, to be honest, I have it on Audible because it was a Cassidy recommendation and I thought, well, I like dragons. Sounds good. So I'm going to read it. Um, so I don't know anything about it, but it's got the word dragon in the title. 
so it fits the hard mode. The next one across the prompt is the main character is a bard or like a singer, a jester, something like that, I don't know. Um, and the hard mode is they are explicitly called a bard, not any other term for bard. Um, and for that, I'm going with A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Um, so I do believe that the main character is, well, he is called a bard. So in the synopsis, Adara, heiress to the east, know the spirits, only answer to a bard's music. Um, there's only one bard capable of drawing spirits forth by song, her childhood enemy, Jack Tamerlane. So we do have a bard in this book. And that will count for the hard mode. The second prompt is the book contains a prologue or an epilogue and the hard mode is it contains both. I don't have anything on for this. I mean I, I'm gonna just, why am I picking up this book? Why? Um, it's one of those that's going to be a little bit difficult to know again and, until you've read it. doesn't have a prologue in it um I but I do feel like there's a lot of fantasies that contain prologues and epilogues and <clears throat> um if I can get at least either or that's great if I can get both even better so I don't know what I'm going to put on for there I think that's going to be one that I'll either do more research in later in the year if I've done quite well and actually been keeping up with this or it will get filled naturally as and when I get to it um, prompt number three is another one where I don't actually have a title yet, um, which is a self-pubbed or indie and the hard mode is it has less than 100 ratings. This one is tough because while I do try and read indie books, um, I don't seem to really own very many physically, especially not fantasies. So I don't know what I'm going to go for. Again, would love your recommendations, please. Um, and yeah I don't know then again trying to find one that is indie with less than 100 ratings I don't think that's going to be too difficult but I do need to do some kind of further research and thinking on this one from a brief like look at my shelves I can't see anything that is like screaming to me indie book that is lesser known there might be I might just not be looking hard enough um but there's nothing that's kind of, like I said, immediately standing out to me. So again, any recommendations, please do drop them down below. The fifth one in this line, um, the prompt is has romance as a main plot. And the hard mode is LGBT. I am tentatively going to put on Wolf Song by TJ Klune. I don't know if you'd say this one has romance as a main plot but I feel like it does um I feel like I, there is a I know there is a romance plot line in here and I feel like it is a strong enough plot line to be classed as like a main plot so again if you've read it please do let me know can I class it as romance as the main plot um if not what else can I put on um, that has a queer romance. To be honest, I actually don't think it's going to be too difficult for me to find a queer romance on my shelves. Um, but Wolf Song is the one that I'm going with for now. Right, on to line number three. Line number three, our first prompt is Dark Academia with the hard mode as a mundane school. So I've gone for The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. This is the second book in the Atlas Six series. Um, I don't know if you could call the school in this mundane. It, because while there is magic that happens, I'm not sure if it's a magic school. Like if you'd count it as a magic school or it's magic that exists in a mundane world. So I'm unsure on whether this one would hit hard mode. Um, in terms of other dark academias, I feel like I do have a certain amount on my TBR and I just don't know what they are off the top of my head. Um, but this is on there for now. And again, if it only completes the easy mode, it only completes easy, it's fine. I'm being joined by Bella, which makes it very difficult to put anything down. No, get off there. 
I need that list. The second prompt is uh, more than three points of view and the hard mode is more than five points of view. Again, tentatively, because I don't know if I'm right or not, I'm putting on Jade War by Fonda Lee. Um, I think I saw in a recommendation that this one has got multiple points of view and quite a lot of them. Um, the th thing is, until I read it, I'm not going to know. I think Jade... Le Jade City had more than five points of view but again I don't entirely remember because to be totally honest I wasn't counting the points of view when I read the book but this one is tentatively in place. Um, the third one, so this is technically middle square, is published in 2024 and the hard mode is a first novel, a debut. Um, I have not put anything in this square just yet. Um, I'm a subscriber to both Fairy Loot and Aline McRae and Fairy Loot's Romanticy. So I know that we'll get, you know, we're getting new, I'm getting like multiple new books every month and a lot of them are debuts. So I'm not concerned that that one's going to be a difficult um, square to fill. But again, I haven't put anything on because in all honesty of the books that I've received so far this year, there's not been anything that's made me truly excited to want to put this one in the square. But I think this is going to be an easy one to fill as and when I get to it. Um, the fourth prompt is disability rep and the hard mode is the main character has a disability. So I am kind of tentatively putting on a little hatred. So in the first law universe, in the first series, we have got disabled characters, mainly Glockta. Um, I think he will be featured in here I don't know if he's going to be a main character again so it might not count because he's not a main character there will I'm sure be other you know that there, there will potentially be other main characters in here who are also disabled but again I haven't read the book yet so I don't know um my other option is I've also tentatively got in the obelisk gate by N.K. Jemison um because while I don't remember off the top of my head, one of the characters I believe is disabled. I just don't remember what their disability is. Um, if not, again, I feel like I read a decent amount of books for disability rep. So I think I should be able to find something to fill that square over the next year. But we will see. And then prompt number five on this row is published in the 1990s. And the hard mode is the author is still publishing. I haven't actually checked the publication date on this one. But I'm putting on Ship and Magic by Robin Hobb. Um, published in 1998. Just excellent. I believe that Robin Hobb is still publishing books. Um, I think it was like still publishing as in they've published in the last five years. Um, I think Robin Hobb is still active so I'm counting it and um, I do want to be continuing this series even though this one is a chunky 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 book I want to continue the series this year so Ship of Magic is going on let's go on to row number four row four prompt one the first square is orcs trolls goblins oh my um with the which is basically a character the book features orcs trolls or goblins the hard mode is the main character is one of those um i um this one is a little bit tricky um if i don't think he is but if travis baldry releases another book in the legends and lattes series i will be reading that but as far as i'm aware there aren't any plans for any more in that series just yet so maybe not but what I'm going to put on is the Goblin Emperor. I don't know who that's by. Um, that one is another Susanna Wreck. She loves this book. She's been, again, telling us all to read it. So I'm putting it on the list. If I get to it, brilliant. If I don't get to it, well, fine. Um, Orcs, Trolls and Goblins. I, I, yeah, I feel like they're such a staple of classic fantasy, but you don't really see them in modern fantasy so much 
I could just like reread The Hobbit or something, but I don't want to just to fill that prompt. Um, but I think I can find something that will fit. The second prompt on this line is space opera and the, um, so read a space opera, and the hard mode is written by a marginalised, by an author of a marginalised gender, um, which pretty much was anyone who's not a man. So it was like women, trans authors, non-binary authors. So I was thinking, oh great, I can put on um, Illuminate finally, but then I read the hard mode and was like, nope, we can't. So instead I'm going to go with The Red Scholar's Wake by Alette de Bodard. I don't know anything about this book. I believe it is sentient spaceships, but I, I have no idea. I think it's a space opera, but again, I, I, I don't really know. So we'll see. Um, prompt number three on this line is author of colour and the hard mode is a debut. Um, I have got three options here in front of me because I can't pick. Um, again, I don't think this prompt is going to be super difficult to fulfil, but one of my options is The Book Eaters by Sonia Dean. Um, another one is The Just Had Air by Zara Hashim. Um, and I've also got The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Ab um, I saw Legendborn by Tracy Dion as it was also one of the recommendations on this list so any of them really again I don't think this prompt is going to be super tricky to fill but any any debut author of colour. Uh, prompt number four on this one is survival so any book with like a survival plot line. Um, I'm going to move those ones out the way there and the hard mode is a book that doesn't have a virus or a pandemic as your thing to survive. Um, so I've got a few options on this one. I'm putting on The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. Um, I, I've read the fifth season and so The Obelisk Gate is where I'm up to. Um, I feel like Red Rising also would fit on this one. So again, Golden Sun could also go in here instead. Um, but yeah, basically, pretty much Golden Sun and the Obelisk Gate are both kind of down for two um, prompts. Um, but yeah, I think those two are ones that would work. I've also got down, written down The Martian by Andy Ware, um, Blood Traitor by Lynette Nonny. I feel like there's quite a lot of kind of survival um, books out there. So I don't think that one's going to be, be too tricky to finish. And then the fifth prompt in this row is judge a book by its cover. So just pick any cover by, um, with the hard mode being don't read the synopsis. I haven't put anything in for this one because I am a synopsis reader. Saying that, I also have an appalling memory as evidenced by the fact that I don't remember what the vast majority of the books I'm showing you are about. Um, so there definitely will be books that I own or that I will buy over the next year where I've bought them purely because they have a pretty cover, but I don't really know what they're about. Um, the Tempest of Tea, for example, is one of them. I bought them, bought this one mainly because I like the cover and because everybody else is reading it. I think it's about vampires. That's all I know. I have no idea what it's about. Um, so I think that there will be quite a few that I can kind of put in that once again, I don't have anything down for that one at the moment. Let's move on to our final row, row number five. So row number five, prompt number one is a small town setting with the hard mode being set on earth. So not a real small town, but in a real place. So some of the examples were like Twilight Forks is a fictional town, but it is in a real world setting. Um, I haven't got anything on for this one yet because I haven't, um, quite honestly, I haven't thought too much about what, where this one could go. I expect there will be quite a lot of um, books that I could like slip in for this one. So again, I don't think this one's gonna to be too tricky to fulfill. But yeah, I haven't got any yet. If you have got any recommendations, drop them down below. Uh, the second one, 
second prompt on this line is five short stories and the hard mode is read the full short story collection oh Bella don't bite me um I'm putting on Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare et al um this is I don't know how many short stories be honest I thought this was one novel one two three four five six seven this is 10 short stories. Um, it is, I believe, the next book that I need to read in my Shadowhunters reading order. Um, I should have read this one before I read Lady Midnight, but I didn't. Sorry, if you can hear rustling, um, that is, as usual, Bella being a pain. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put on Shadowhunters. Um, prompt number, where are we? Prompt number three. I'll be honest, I didn't really understand this prompt. Um, the prompt is uncanny creatures, such as like gods or monsters. I think it's like eldritch creatures. And the hard mode is not related to HP Lovecraft's, I don't know how to pronounce it, Katola universe? Chola? I don't know how you say it. Um, I don't know what the HP Lovecraft world is. Um... So what I have done is put on Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor because there is like a, a monstery god thing in here. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to put in there because like I said I don't really understand the prompt for that one. But we're going with Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Uh, the fourth one is a map or a glossary, so like additional resources. Um, and the hard mode is two plus resources, so multiple maps, multiple glossaries. Um, I did actually notice just now when looking at the Priory, um, there are multiple maps in this one. So we've got a map there, another map, and I think I saw at the back there is a glossary. Um, and a timeline as well which I don't know if you can actually see so I think I'm, I'm going to put Priory on for that one I am already regretting that decision um so my my history with Priory is I started reading this one in about 2020 uh, my bookmark is still in it here at the 150 page mark um which feels like 150 pages should be a lot further on than it is um anyway I put it down not because I wasn't enjoying it, but I was just not what I wanted at the moment at that time. And I haven't picked it back up again. So I do intend to pick it back up again. I do also own A Day of Fallen Night. Um, but yeah, I haven't yet. And then the fifth and final prompt on this row is the book club or read along prompt. Um, so this is the book club or read along hosted by the R Fantasy thread. And like I said earlier, I'm not on Reddit. I also, to be honest, have no intention of being on Reddit. Um, one of the rules in this bingo is you can swap one prompt with a prompt from a previous board. So I am going to swap that read along prompt with one from last year's board. I'm undecided which prompt though. So again, can you let me know of the three that I'm going to tell you which one I should put on? Um, the first option is bottom of TBR. So the book that's been on your TBR the longest. I, off the top of my head I don't know what that would be because I've just done a big unhaul and I know I've got rid of some of the oldest editions on my TBR but I do it possibly actually it probably would be Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy um, of which I've read book one and I haven't continued so that would possibly be it for bottom of TBR if I go with that prompt my second option is YA with the hard mode being pubbed in the last five years I feel like that's quite an easy one. I have quite a bit of YA fantasy on my shelves, even though I don't massively read YA fantasy and most of it will have been pubbed in the last five years. Um, and option three is published in the 2000s. Um, the hard mode on that one was it's not included in like an R fantasy list, but to be honest, I looked through the list and there wasn't anything on there that I wanted to read anyway. So something that was published in the 2000s, which I should be able to find 
might be a little bit more tricky but I should be able to find it. Um, I think I'm possibly leaning towards YA but I don't know. So let me know down below of those three options which one should I go for. Um, and yeah like I said if you have got any recommendations for any of these prompts please do let me know. Let me know if you're going to be joining in with the our fantasy bingo uh, challenge as well and we'll see whether i actually read any of these books that i've mentioned i'll see you in the next one bye